Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are doing another powder review and I am so excited about this. Hourglass, yes ma'am. Yes, ma'am, I love me some Hourglass, so this was no surprise that as soon as I saw it, I grabbed it. Let me go ahead and just tell you what this bad boy is called. It's the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. It retails for $46 and you get 10.5 grams of product. On the Sephora website, it says an ultra refined powder formulated with light reflecting particles to blur imperfections. Packaged in an innovative sifter designed to de dispense the perfect amount of product. This setting powder blurs the appearance of pores, fine lines, and wrinkles for an airbrushed finish. The innovative gold sifter and custom cap allow for the perfect amount of product to be dispensed. I didn't read this beforehand. I'm wondering if I do this, if the perfect amount comes out already. Let me see. <gasps> it does! Oh my goodness, I didn't even notice that. So, <laughs> if you t <laughs> this is why you read the instructions first. I just go ham. I'm like, oh, powder, give it to me. So, if you take your powder and you just have the top screwed on and you shake it like this, you are going to get the perfect amount of product. So, yeah, you'll see in the demo what I did. But you can see right here, it's the perfect amount. Go figure, that's amazing. The formula is infused with diamond powder for the most refined light refraction without any flashback. It's talc free and leaves an invisible finish for all skin tones. So in the demo, I'm going to put this powder up against my favorite powders. I'm going to use it to set and I'm also going to use it to buff. I did not put this underneath my eyes because as we all know, my eyes and my recent cream interaction didn't go over well and so I'm just not trying to aggravate them any further, but we are gonna be talking about this against my favorites. Let's go ahead and jump into the demo. I'm first gonna test this powder on my foundation to set it. Now, I only have my under eye set, so I'm gonna use the Hourglass powder on my left side and my beloved La Mer powder on my right. I use the La Mer all the time, so I just kinda wanna see which one works better just to set the makeup. Delium 974, and I have pore issues, like, if a powder is too radiant, then it will accentuate my pore. So I wanna see if I can use this as a setting powder or if it has to be strictly a buffing powder for me. Here is the La Mer side. Now let's go on to the Hourglass. The component on this is really nice. So if you open up the top, you have this little stopper right here that will stop the powder from coming out of this little H. And this creates like a bowl. So instead of trying to dump it out into anything, I like to just take my brush, cover up the hole, and then go right like this, and then powder gets on the brush. You can always dump some onto your table or something too. <laughs> So we have La Mer and then Hourglass. This side is slightly more matte, still radiant, but slightly more matte. This one is more skin-like. Like, like I, this one feels just not even like a velvet. Like this feels velvety, you know, almost not dry, but velvety. And this feels more like just really soft skin. So this doesn't leave as much of a texture as the Hourglass, and I'm not saying that the Hourglass is bad. I use this all the time. I like that velvety texture, but this is definitely more skin-like, and it looks diffused. Like, my, my skin doesn't look like it has texture or anything like that. This is beautiful. I'm gonna go finish off the rest of my makeup, and then we're gonna test out its buffing capabilities. I'm gonna put it up against my tried and true ride or die Sicily powder. So I just finished off my face makeup, and I have not buffed yet. I wanna show you guys up close both sides beforehand. This side is definitely smoother, and I honestly wasn't expecting that because it's such a radiant powder. But it's real pretty. I'm just gonna zoom you guys in. Hopefully you guys can see on camera, but I just feel like this side looks smoother than this side. Now I'm gonna go in and buff. I'm gonna stick with the Hourglass, just everything being on my left side. I'm using my La Mer brush. And again, I'm just gonna take this, my brush, put it in there and dump it over. This is the same thing I do with my Sicily powder. Like it's just enough on there to be able to buff with.
All right, this side's done. Let's go on with the Sicily. I'm gonna use the same brush. I just knocked off anything that could be on the brush. I'm gonna take it, dump it over. And this is in the shade 01 Iris E. Now we're back to pretty much looking pretty even on both sides. I still feel that this side is just like a little bit more skin-like. But as far as like the Hourglass and the Sicily powder as buffing, they're pretty similar. Let me go ahead and zoom you guys in again. Let me know which side you like better. This is the La Mer and Sicily side. And then this is just the Hourglass. All right, if you guys cannot tell, I am so excited about this powder. I cannot deny that this side of my face looks a little bit better. It's a little bit smoother. It's a little bit more skin-like, and I expect nothing less from Hourglass. I knew when this came out that I absolutely had to have it. A, I love Hourglass powders, and B, I have an obsession for radiant loose powders. So. I was all over this. When it comes to my La Mer powder versus the Hourglass, I gotta say I like the Hourglass more. I, you know, I really didn't think I would ever say that, but I do. And the price difference, 100% would recommend this one. Unless you are super oily, you might like this one better if you're looking for a radiant powder, but personally, Hourglass for the win. Now this gives me anxiety. <laughs> I literally have anxiety right now talking about this, thinking about this, but the Sicily versus the Hourglass, these are extremely similar, extremely similar. So I think for the person that has never tried the Sicily, just go ahead and grab the Hourglass. You know, you're gonna save yourself a lot of money. This one is $46, 10.5 grams. This one's $95 and it's 12 grams. So in that aspect, if you've never tried this, just go ahead, get the Hourglass. There are pros and cons though. So this only comes in one shade. I don't know how far this is going to go or how far it's going to reach as far as skin tones and it working for you. Kelsey will be doing a video on this. So if you wanna see a deeper skin tone and how it works, check her out. I don't know when it's going to go up, but that will be very helpful. This one does come in other shades, and this shade right here is even darker than this one. So it's going to work on more people. But again, that price tag though, I am not yet willing to say that this is going to replace this. I will have to let you know if I keep gravitating towards this. I'll tell you, I've already ordered a backup. That's how real the love for this powder is. I tried it as a buffing powder, fell in love, immediately went onto Nordstrom, found it and purchased another one because heaven forbid people fall in love with this and it's out of stock, I will probably have a panic attack. Yes, I know that's dramatic. <laughs> so my final thoughts are, I would recommend this one over the La Mer. I haven't decided about the Sicily yet, so I will keep you updated, but I 100% recommend the powder in general. I like it to set and I like it to buff. Again, I've tried it underneath my eyes, but my eyes are not in good condition right now, so I will have to update you guys on that as well. Let me know down below if you are going to try this powder. If you have already, what do you think about it? Let me know and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.